In today's video, we're going to answer a question that I get quite a bit on my channel, and that is, what is an electron volt? Now, before we go through and answer that question in great detail and do a couple example problems, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's step-by-step -step science. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You should subscribe, click the notifications bell, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share. And I also have a bunch of other learning and teaching materials that you can get from my Teachers Pay Teacher Store, diagrams, questions, notes that you may find helpful in your physics teaching and learning. Head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher Store. The link is in the description below. And I've made a bunch of other videos for other units besides the electron volt, such as the watt, the newton, what is meters per second squared mean, and you can link to those in the upper right hand corner of this video but of course this is what is an electron volt an electron volt is simply a unit of energy we call it the electron volt it has the abbreviation ev e for electron and v for volt now if you've done some physics already with work and energy then you might be familiar with the joule and you can simply count, uh, convert back and forth pretty easily between the electron volt, because the electron volt is simply a different unit or another unit for energy and work, and you can convert back and forth, which we'll do in just a moment. Now, there are some places where we use joules more commonly, and there are some places where we use electron volts more commonly for energy and work, and where we use electron volts, you may have seen, is in atomic energy level diagrams. This is the energy level diagram for hydrogen atom, and you can see the energy levels are given in electron volts, minus 13.6 electron volts, minus 3.4 electron volts. All of these energies could just as easily be given in joules, but it is common to give those energies in electron volts. Also, you may see in the photoelectric effect that the work function for the metal is given in electron volts. So for example, here, it's given as 2.05 electron volts. Once again, we could easily give this as joules, but in this case, we usually give it for give it in electron volts. Now, what is an electron volt? An electron volt is simply the amount of energy that an electron acquires when it moves through a potential difference of one volt. So here we have a negatively charged electron it's being held at this plate, which is also negatively charged because they're going to repel each other. This electron is going to want to move over to uh, this positively charged plate and the potential difference between those plates is one volt and that is an electron and that means as that electron moves through that potential difference of one volt it is going to be accelerating it is going to be increasing its velocity it is going to be getting some kinetic energy and the amount of energy that it's going to get the amount of kinetic energy that it's going to get it's going to be equal to one electron volt. Now we can also calculate the amount of energy that that electron would gain using this equation, and our answer would come out in joules. This equation says that the amount of work that the field does is equal to the charge. In this case, it would be the charge on the electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs times the potential through which it moves and that would be one volt, and then we would get the amount of work that the field does. Well, the amount of work the field does is equal to the amount of energy that it would gain as it moves across that potential difference. We can set those equal to each other and get the equivalent amount of energy in joules, which we'll do in just a moment. But the energy that is gained, I want to just repeat again, is one electron volt. Now, we want to convert, as that electron moves to that potential difference, we can calculate the amount of energy that it's gained in joules. We know it gains one electron volt, but how many joules would that be? Now we can use the equation that we just showed you in the previous slide, that the work done by the field, that's what W is for work, is equal to the charge on the particle, in this case an electron, times the potential through which it moves. If we plug those values in, the charge on the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, that's the Q, and the potential through which it moves is one volt, or well, a volt is a joule per coulomb. You can see we have a coulomb on the top, a coulomb on the bottom, they're gonna cancel, we're gonna be left with joules, 
and 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs times 1 is simply going to be equal to, obviously, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So the amount of work that is done is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, and the energy that it acquires is one electron volt. So those two values are equivalent to each other. And this is the conversion factor that we're going to use when we do our examples to convert between electron volts and joules because one electron volt is equal to, as we showed you up here, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Okay, so let's go on now and do, a, this is our example number one. This is number two here, but this is actually example number one. This is for the photoelectric effect. And you can see in this diagram for the photoelectric effect, we're shining light on this metal plate. It has a wavelength of 545 nanometers or an equivalent energy of 2.28 electron volts. The work function is 2.05 electron volts. That means the energy that's gonna be left over for those photoelectrons that are gonna be coming off of that plate is 0 0.23 electron volts. And we want to know what will be the maximum kinetic energy of those electrons. Well, to calculate the kinetic energy, we're going to use our kinetic energy formula. The kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. We're going to rearrange that equation to solve for the velocity. This is the velocity that we're looking for. That means the velocity is going to be equal to 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the mass of the electron. Now, when we put the value for the energy in this equation, we can't leave it in electron volts. We first have to convert it into joules. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to put down here 0 0.23 electron volts. We're going to use our conversion factor because we know that one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. The electron volts are going to cancel. And if we take 0 0.23 electron volts and multiply it by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, then you'll notice we get 3.68 times 10 to the minus 20 joules. Okay, this value is less than one electron volt, and therefore our answer has to be less than 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, which of course it is. Now, all we did here I want to be very clear, it's just convert between two different energy units, the electron volt and the joule, using our conversion factor. Now I can simply plug those values in. The velocity of that photoelectron would be 2 times the energy in joules divided by the mass of an electron. Now if you don't know what the mass of an electron is, or you might have to look it up, or maybe your teacher would tell you, it's 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And you get that the velocity of the electron would be 2.84 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. Okay? And we did that by converting between electron volts and joules with the conversion factor. Okay, now our second example is we have over here the energy level diagram for hydrogen, and we're going to shine light and onto that hydrogen atom, and we want to know if we have a photon of light with an energy of 5.44 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, will it be able to ionize that hydrogen atom? Now you'll notice here the energy levels, the energies are given in electron volts, and we've been given joules, so we have to convert that number of joules into electron volts. So this is the value for the energy in joules of that photon of light. We're going to use the same conversion factor. One electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. This time we have the joules in the bottom so that they'll cancel. We're left with electron volts. We're simply going to take 5.44 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19, and we get that that is 3.4 electron volts. Now, if we look here at our energy level diagram, we can see right here this energy level is minus 3.4 electron volts. So if we had an electron, not in the ground state, but at the first excited state, if an electron was here and we shine that photon of light and it was to strike that electron, then that photon of light could ionize that hydrogen atom by removing that electron completely. Okay? 
So there you go. Um, we went over a nice thorough description of what an electron volt is. And then we did two examples showing you how you use the conversion factor to convert between electron volts and joules. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos, step-by-step -step science. Please subscribe, click the notifications bell, give me a thumbs up for this video, leave me a comment for this video, and don't forget sharing is caring. Share this video with all your friends and show them just how much you care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.